The chances of a house fire drastically increase during the festive period for those who have a Christmas tree. It may be faulty fairy lights or overloaded plug sockets, but if your tree goes up in flames will you be covered by your insurance? Frank from Norwich thought he would be, it seems he was wrong. Frank put up his Christmas tree on December 1st, just as he does every year. After he'd decorated it, his wife put presents underneath for their children. When the family were woken at 3.30am on December 3rd by smoke filling the house, Frank quickly found the Christmas tree on fire. He evacuated his family and called the fire brigade. Luckily the fire was extinguished quickly and the damage contained largely to the living room. More importantly, everyone was safe. Frank called his insurers, providing all of the details of the fire, including the time it started. He also listed the presents under the tree that had been wrecked and a schedule of other damage. Two days later they called back. They wanted to know two things, had the fairy lights been left on overnight and had the damaged presents been under the tree? After saying yes to both, Frank was told he may not be covered as the insurers deemed it negligent to leave the lights unattended. Frank is awaiting their decision so he contacted me for my thoughts. The legal starting point will be to see what the insurer's terms and conditions say on this subject. Unfortunately, I've been unable to view an up-to-date copy and the insurance company has not been forthcoming in either sending them or directing me to them online. However, it's likely that leaving the fairly lights on unattended will fall within an exclusion, as it is commonly known they can be a fire hazard. The issue of the presence under the tree is more intriguing. I've seen insurers advise against placing presents under the tree due to burglary risk. I've also seen them partially reject claims as the value of presents has pushed the claim over the contents limit. But I've never seen an insurer say they won't cover damaged presents if they were under the tree. I think this would be a step too far, and I've advised Frank to lodge a claim with the financial ombudsman if they pursue this.